everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to talk about our favorite hot springs camping spot in colorado doesn't love a good hot springs. I know that we absolutely love going and soaking in hot springs. And one of the great things about living in Colorado is that there are so many hot springs to be explored. In fact, there's a whole hot springs route that you can take. And really, it would take you a few weeks to actually visit all the different hot springs in Colorado. And recently, we were actually planning a trip to go out to the Great Sand Dunes, uh, a national park we've always wanted to go visit, so definitely check it out. Uh, and when we were doing our research, we actually stumbled across a really great place to camp that was at a hot springs right near the Great Sand Dunes. It was called Sand Dunes Pool. And these pools were awesome. As soon as you walk in, you check in, and then you go run and do a cannonball right in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just scope it out a little bit before you jump in. So they actually have a big family pool here at the Sand Dune uh, Hot Springs and it's for all ages. It's a, a good temperature, I'd say. It's not super hot, but definitely if it's in the middle of summer, it's gonna feel a little bit warm. They had an additional hot pool as well that got pretty toasty and we were there during the summer, so most people weren't in that pool. It's not really made for cooling off. It's yeah, for definitely. relaxing and chilling though. Yeah, and but it was very large pool it had a kitty area they also had some diving boards and what was really great about it is if you kept walking back throughout the pool area it actually opened up into a huge grassy area so people would go picnic they had a basketball hoop uh, different areas for lawn games and things like that so you could just hang out all day long they even had a little stream yeah the stream was out. really cool Hannah yeah. got to walk through the stream so Hannah yeah. was able to come with us too which was really cool because as Josh mentioned, you could actually bring your dog into the main area of the hot springs, which was super awesome. So we were able to bring Hana in there with us, and she couldn't go in the main pool for obvious reasons, but there was a creek that flowed out through the main pool, and it had a little slide area, and it went through the grassy area as well, and so Hana could dip her little paws in there, and she could hang out with us. And they do have a really great snack bar area as well, serving tons of food. In fact, it's one of the only places to eat in Hooper, Colorado, <laughs> where this place is located and so if you're staying out here you're gonna definitely be dining here or make sure you go to the grocery store before because there's nothing out here <laughs> the food is good though yeah it's super good we ate there pretty much every day we stayed and we were there for about a week and really just enjoyed ourselves they also had another really cool area of the pool it was called the greenhouse mm -hmm. so this was the adult side of the whole pool area it's really cool it's very uh, relaxing yeah um, as soon as you open the door to to go over uh, through the greenhouse there's this long corridor with lights so you can automatically start feel, getting the chill effect and everything yeah and you can hear the music playing yeah. and all that now this area the greenhouse is an additional fee so you will have to pay an additional fee to go in here and it is adults only like we said but it is well worth it, I tell you. Uh, it was so enjoyable. We went there every single day when we were staying every just to day. hang out. Yeah. Uh, and as soon as you walk into the greenhouse, it is covered, so it protects you a little bit from the outside elements. After all, there are sand dunes nearby, so you could tell it gets pretty windy out there. So it's protected inside the greenhouse from the wind and the sun. Uh, they have really cool music playing throughout, great music. There's food, there's drinks, actually really good food yeah, and good, good food, drinks. Good finger food. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, to like tuna shishimis. <laughs> yeah. It was really, it was really good to be out way in the desert. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was really nice. And um, they have a zero entry pool that you could go into that was very nice, warm temperature with little waterfalls and you know ambiance with the lighting and everything. Uh, they also have a number of other hot pools at different temperatures. Yeah, they were all different temperatures, so it's really whichever temperature you wanted to go yeah, to some at the of them time. were super super hot yeah so you could only stay in there for a few minutes or so but it felt good and then you could go to a cooler pool but what was great about this area is everyone's just hanging out relaxing there's tons of you know flowers and greenery so you could sort of walk through some of the paths and just enjoy it and there was a sauna as well um, they also offer massages on site if you're wanting some ultimate relaxation you could book one of those as well so definitely a really cool place to hang out we highly recommend that you enjoy the greenhouse while you're there 
So one of the reasons we were there is because we could camp on site at the sand dunes pool. And they have a small campground area. It's not super huge. They have about 10 water and electric sites. And they also have a dump station on site as well. So you could use that before you park. Um, but they're nice little sites. And they also have some uh, dry camping sites as well and tents also. And the great thing about camping here is that you're very, uh, you have convenient access to the swimming pool as well as the great sand dunes. And those are both the reasons why we were hanging out there. Now as far as pricing goes, to stay at the campground, it's about $30 a night for the water and electric sites and $20 for the dry camping or the tent sites. They also have a few cabins and also a big hacienda if you have a group with you as well. So really cool, good prices. And another benefit if you're staying on site at the campground is that you get half price admission to the hot springs. Now typically the hot springs are $15 a person for adults, but if you're staying at the campground, it's 50% off. So about $7.50 a day, which is a good price for a great quality hot springs. So a couple tips about going to the sand dunes pool and camping is uh, make sure you hit up the grocery store before going because in Hooper, there's really just this. Nothing. There's, nothing <laughs> there's nothing really there. Nothing really at all. So make sure you're, you get your groceries ahead of time. Uh, while you're there, make sure you get mosquito repellent. There's quite a bit of mosquitoes. They're about, yeah, big, big. Depending on the time of year you're going. When we were there, they were huge. <laughs> yeah, mosquitoes. So just be aware of the mosquitoes. Uh, and then also just uh, heads up that the sand dunes look like they're really close by, mm -hmm. but they're a good 30 minute drive away. Yeah, it's really um, cool. You can see them in the you distance. You can see them super far away. But, yeah, it yeah. takes you about 30 minutes to get there. So keep that in mind. So at the end of the day, we really loved staying at the sand dunes pool and hot springs in Hooper, Colorado. And it honestly was one of our favorite places that we have camped in Colorado, where we could go enjoy the hot springs and a great national park nearby. It was really an awesome experience. We loved being able to go in and out of the hot springs anytime, you know, as much yeah. as we wanted. And it had great cell service there. And it was just a whole lot of fun. I even think Hannah enjoyed it too. I think Hannah had a blast. This was probably one of her favorite part of the trips the being able to go to the hot springs and then of course the sand dunes wow yeah yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. so place that we highly recommend so definitely um, make sure if you want to get more details to click on the link below in the description for uh, more information about staying at the sand dunes and read our blog post and then also make sure that you subscribe to the channel and follow on social media so that you can join the travel community and share your own travel tips as well all right thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye, bye.